Sometimes I pray at night and wonder what's left for me in my future. Wall Street didn't just gain from globalization. It has been completely reckless. Took the power, manipulated it, twisted it, broke the law. It's disgusting. The world economy to its knees. Sick of the struggle. Core degree. It's all for you. None for me. Pay your debts. Stay in line. Planet screams. People die. I'm a man. I'm not your product. We're all owned by the bank to keep stocks up. I'm a victim. You play the predator, but I'm a citizen. And you're the senator. I'm making paper. Really paper. My money ain't worth shit. It's all fake, huh? I don't got a face, I only got a voice I hope you got the time, cause you ain't got a choice This the pain, a boring danger We gotta open our eyes, we gotta wake up This is our time, can't you see the signs? Take a look around, we ain't fucking blind We can make this difference I'm so passionate about this idea to create JCCVW uh, justice, court, comedy, and virtual worlds is to show how perverse some laws are and the whole system of justice based on secrecy and corruption. When I said this um, word secrecy, I remember John F. Kennedy, his famous speech when he began. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are as a people, inherently and historically, opposed to secret society, to secret oath, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. Episode number 156 of Let's Talk Bitcoin. Um, it's called The Mola Story. And just wrote already one comment, uh, one more, more reason to create JCCVW, abbreviation for Justice Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds. Um, because uh, there are many scams, fraud, and which would request a lawsuit. But many people who are in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, first want to avoid that. And but um, the risk is that maybe. Some people would demand stricter laws, but I think most of the people would um, be against that because um, as I myself, when I got to know Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, I started to um, think if there's a life beyond the state and anyway my opinion about laws and um, who has the right to judge my favorite uh, verse of the bible when jesus says who is without a sin cast the first stone so and anyway the risk, I repeat, would be that there will be established more laws, more regulation, and so I think we need to create a place to talk about justice and 
give the opportunity to discuss these things, but and uh, of course, all these things are not uh, funny, but um, trying to at least give the appearance of a little bit fun comedy to create um, a place like in, in a virtual world like Second Life with some avatars, maybe animal avatars, so it gives it a little touch of comedy and fun. Like with my avatar, Innocent Crypto Kitty. And maybe sometimes I need a little help from my other avatar, Naughty Katsilla. I like this name especially to create some um, photo montage with Katsilla. And just must uh, remember the quote of Stefan Moline, law is an opinion with a gun. So in my video number 61, I mentioned this project for the first time, um, this JCCVW, Justice Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds, Second Life. And it's no fun at all to denounce people and maybe the best way to um, to, fi to fight for justice, I think this uh, term would be better to use, is to to criticize these uh, things in a comedy way, um, like in the second life with um, some humor. Um, of course, uh, often these things are really not fun funny at all, but um, maybe it's uh, some kind of dark humor, <laughs> black humor, English humor, or gallows humor. Just went to Wikipedia. In the face of or about very unpleasant, serious or painful circumstances, any humor that treat serious matters such as death, war, disease, crime, etc. in a light, silly or satirical fashion is considered gallows humor. Gallows humor has been described as a witticism in the face of and in response to a hopeless situation. It arises from stressful, traumatic or life-threatening situations, often in circumstances such as death, is perceived as impending and unavoidable. Avoidable. Gallows humor is typically made by or about a victim of such a situation, but not the perpetrator of it. Sometimes I think this is just all a game. You can call it like this, this whole legal system. Just today they said in Spanish TV they made uh, the law about intellectual property, uh, piracy, they enforced that law now, uh, hallelujah. <laughs> so in comparison to, this is a game, but uh, the, I think what is not a game, the final judgment day, I'm very convinced there's a uh, life 
after death. Um, I created a soul trade game on Twitter. You're welcome to follow me. And second life, ritual wars, and after life, um, hashtag I have. Uh, and I created a new hashtag uh, written together. Don't sell your soul to the devil. Sell it to innocent crypto kitty. Yeah, it's just the first part uh, written together. And if you lose in this court of comedy, innocent crypto kitty has the right to steal your soul. Uh, watch my video about soul trade game, I think, in the number. It's the video Vanus Enigma 017, number 17. Soon I create a new video and translate it into Spanish and German. But at the moment, this one is the most complete video about Soul Trade game in virtual worlds like Second Life. And by the way, I a long time ago I created Do Not Coin a crypto parody. Uh, it's on Twitter too. Anyway, this is explained in this video. So justice and truth are very important hashtags. Hashtags, but in the end, maybe. Uh, if uh, the topic is not too serious, um, even if somebody might be less innocent than the other person, maybe the person who is more funny will win. Anyway, there, there is no judgment, but the only judgment is, is uh, <laughs> because my nickname is Innocent Crypto Kitty and innocent is like a synonym for without sin, so I, I have the right to judge and throw the fourth first stone. <laughs> and um, I can uh, tell the judgment, oh yeah, um, uh, the surreal judgment that somebody owes uh, the soul to me. For example, the Bitcoin dog who blocked cryptocurrency cat, innocent crypto kitty. How dare, how dare to block this innocent crypto kitty? <laughs> And watch my video number 52, Bitcoin expert accused for absurd reason. Um, actually, I should have put in judgment uh, the soul, soul trade game. And anyway, uh, I noticed later that um, annotations don't function in Android. So next time. And this is one of my favorite pictures and one comment I wrote some time ago, but uh, still not on video. Um. I'm a big advocate of cryptocurrency, but my prediction without betting, because it's really not what I I like, is the following. A new world order is going to force people into one world currency, which will be based on a certain type of state cryptocurrency. It will convince many people because of security reasons. The private key will be in a type of RFID chip like um, Obamacare. And I think this is what the Bible predicts in Revelation, Mark of the Beast. Democracy is ty the tyranny of the majority. All these trials, uh, lawsuits uh, should be recorded with 
several cameras, especially in Supreme Court. And by the way, I opened a um, Facebook page. You're welcome to join. Facebook JCCVW Justice. Is it 